it's important to kind of talk about what makes up your week and what you do musically and professionally towards all of this as far as what your life looks like making music from your art. So would you mind walking through like a normal Jameson Ross week? Well, um, that's a really great question. I think that might be the first time I've ever gotten that question. Um, especially in I'm known for my probing questions. So oh, yes. I love it, yes. especially yes. in the school <laughs> setting too. Like it's like, man. But that's a it's a great question because what we do can be kind of um, uh, what we do as artists, creatives, music people. You know, can be kind of free. It can be like comes and it goes. Some days you're inspired. Some days you're not. Uh, some days it's like you don't feel like doing it. Some days you just want to stay in a room all day. You know. It's a very, um, it's a rocky road emotionally. So something that I do uh, is to make sure that I put structure in place so that I can be free inside of a structured environment. So my point to that is every day this is, music is something I do. So right now I have three people with me. I don't have three people with me every day, you know. But on the road, touring and traveling the world, I have a van with me and you play. And the stage is really, where you get a chance to be completely, you know, as I call it, like naked, you know? It's like you get to be like vulnerable 100%. But throughout the week, you're really preparing for these moments, you know? And so the more you perform, the more you have a viewpoint of how and how much you're inspired. You can see where the music, music is gonna go, you know? So for me, I can give you a, a, a pure picture. I wake up in the morning, I have a wife and a daughter, so, I'll just give it to you straight up. <laughs> 6.30, I'm like getting my daughter ready for school. I'm taking her to school. Uh, carpool, carpool lines are hilarious. Um, once the carpool line is over, I normally go work out. I go to the gym. And right after that, I sit at my piano. I have a piano in my living room, and that's like a very, because I'm like super high off of working out, you know? So I'm like kind of super inspired, you know? So I just sit at the piano. I may play a new song. I may play a song that I already have written. But sometimes in that moment, something fresh comes out. But it's almost like a two-hour window. So like from 8 to 10 p.m., 10 a.m., sorry, 8 to 10 a.m. So that's every day. So right after that, most of the times I have a rehearsal. You know how that is when you're a musician. There's a rehearsal. Somebody got a 10 a.m. rehearsal, a 9.30 a.m. rehearsal. Now, this may not happen exactly the same every day, but in my mind, this is the concept. You see what I'm saying? So, if I have a full day in mind, the drums come into play, you know, like the actual technical facility of the instrument, you know? So then after that time and period that I have where I'm just at the piano singing, because that's like my heart as a musician. Well, people think the drummer is my heart, but actually my heart as a musician is like melody and harmony and like really seeing how far we can go with that, you know? Um, but I do play drums. I did go to college with drums. I got a master's. I went to school at UNL here on the side of the street, on the side of the tracks, maybe, no, same stuff, yeah, something like that. <laughs> but, so, after that happens, just to show you, emails. So, emails, if you follow me on Twitter, I'm always talking about correspondence and emails. It can take up a ton of time. Like, literally, so what I've learned is, instead of just like having the emails and answering them as they go, sit down and answer emails at one time. Trust me, it works just like correspond, even when it comes to business cards that I've received, I have a whole method where I send people like follow-ups. Like I'm really good about that because that's relationships is like the natural currency of this music industry. I'm gonna say that again. Relationship is the natural currency of this music industry. I'm gonna say that again. Relationship <laughs> is the natural, it's like the, this is, that's the currency. That's what we have to feed off of. So. Correspondence is key. It's as simple as, hey, hey, hello, how you doing? Putting them inside your email, e email address, your email, MailChimp, or, you know, that's really why I do it, too, because once I email you, I can forget about you, like, months later, but you're going to get everything that I send out. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. So the email time can take a lot of time, because then, you know, I have, at this point in my career, I have managements, I have book booking agents, multiple in different continents of the world, so then, at that point in the day, this is maybe right before I pick up my daughter, right around 2, 1, 1 p.m., 2 o'clock, it gets heavy traffic because if, like, if I get on the phone with my manager, then the conversation just goes for like an hour and a half, 
because you're thinking so far ahead. You know, this is nothing. At this point, you're not even on the instrument. It's just like thinking based on what you're creating on how to develop your career. You know, based on what you're creating, though. That's very important, actually. Based on what you're creating. I'll say that again. So once that conversation happens, it can kind of go in a loophole because you're kind of, as, we, as I said before, it's a free spirit as an artist and a creator. So sometimes when you're on the phone with people you trust or people you're working with, you're just speaking freely. You're just like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. And it takes having someone around you at this level, essentially, to kind of help, like, put it in boxes, you know? Like, I have a couple different concepts of albums that I want to do, so I'm thinking about 2022 right now. And this, we, we're going into 2020, but 2020 is already kind of finished. That's how it works. That's why the emails are important. That's why the conversations are important. That's why your time, your structure, when it comes to writing, developing, growing as an artist, as a musician, extremely important. You gotta build it in, you know? So, by that time, what happens? It depends on what day it is. I have a couple things I do, like right around like four or five, but I'm sure everybody has their way of letting down and relaxing, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so I have a couple things that I like to do right before I pick up my daughter. And then when I pick up my daughter, I get her from school. That is like a routine. It's like, boom. School, homework, dinner, bed. She's in bed by 8 o'clock. Then I'm free. Well, actually, 8 o'clock. Then you know I'm married. So it's like 8 to like 10, depending on the night. But 10 p.m., after 10, I'm, I shouldn't laugh, though. But 10 p.m., I'm free again. You see what I'm saying? And that's how, I hate to say I'm free, but musically and creatively, I'm free again, right? And so depending on how I'm feeling, I just go to sleep, or I may jump back in it again. You know, at that point in the night, I may, you know, I'm like, I may go hear some music. You know, I may go out to a, a killing show. That inspires me every time. I can go hear the worst music, but I learn something from it, you know? That's very important, like being in the scene, going to hear music, like that's extremely important. And not even just music, like, you know, art museums and just be around creative people, you know, that'll push you. So, yeah, once I go to sleep, I wake up in the morning, that 6, 6 a.m. alarm goes off, and I do it all over again. That's a day at home. On the road, that just, it's, on the road, it's just like sleep, play. You know, maybe explore the city, but when you're singing every night and you're playing, you gotta be careful, you know. So really, you're just like, the performance is, is king. Hopefully, did I answer you guys' question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be as honest as 